Hello everybody, Caesar here again. Now it occurred to me that last summer I made a gear list. I'll put the link in the description below as usual. You can check that out and it occurred to me when I was um, doing that video that I said I was going to do a follow-up video which I never did on like all the small things so I figured you know what um, it's been bothering me. I, I, I'd wanted to do it, but I didn't have time, didn't have time. But now, today I got a little bit of free time, so I figured, okay, uh, better better late than never. So I'm going to go through a lot of the kind of itsy-bitsy small stuff that goes into my kit. Now, it's changed with time, as any like gear system will do. Uh, so here I have, um, this will be part one where I have everything that goes into my satchel which is over there. Uh, the satchel will you know be in front of me while I'm hiking. It's just a DIY satchel I made myself. If you're interested in more DIY stuff I can put a link to that video as well where I show it off. Uh, it's uh, quite big. I'll open it up after I wait and everything. Here's my scale. Um, then I'll do another video which has my first aid repair kit and um, I also have a uh, another small like you know odds and ends that go in my pack right so I have kind of small stuff that goes into my pack and then this is the stuff I like to have on hand that gets a lot of use and this for the season right now this is set up for springtime um, so in here I have some clothing uh, that I will uh, go through in the summertime obviously when things are warmer that will change uh, yeah so let's jump into it uh, now the satchel itself, right, is right here. It's just a nylon uh, do-it-yourself job, right? Turn on the um, scale here. Right, and you'll see it weighs like 50 grams, 51 grams, right? And if I open it up, you can see it's quite big. It will fit everything quite nicely. And it's just a very simple, you know, satchel. Nothing complicated about it, just a cord. Uh, that I sling over my shoulder and what's nice too is on the inside if I can open it up here just a drawstring right so I can get it easy in easy out I, and I can close it up uh, securely when I'm you know say hiking uphill and the going is a little tougher so nothing falls out it also has a little inside pocket I didn't have to you know include or sew that in that came with this cheapo gym bag and that's where I will keep my wallet and I can even actually attach it to the zipper with a tether or a piece of string if I need to, uh, like if I'm in the city. Um, but zipped up and in my satchel, it's pretty secure, so I rarely do that. So there's the satchel. And obviously, I can put snacks in there too, like granola bars or, um, you know, even my lunch. If I'm going for a no-cook lunch, I can throw that in there as well. Uh, now, next thing is the wallet since I just mentioned the wallet right this actually I've been using this is just a z-pax um, a zip small zip pouch I used to use this just for backpacking but I liked it so much I actually switched to just have it be my regular wallet uh, that made it makes it easier for me uh, whenever I have weekend trips just to you know switch over my wallet and I'm good to go rather than have a city wallet and a backpacking wallet right so um, makes things easier and let's give that away here I don't have any of the weights uh, memorized or anything so let's see here so 28 grams or around an ounce or so for you Americans all right so you got a wallet throw that aside uh, let me get into the clothing since it's the biggest thing here taking up all this space first let's weigh it and looking at 133 grams let me get the um, get the uh, pull pull cord on there okay 134 grams or so this is a silicone nylon stuff sack so it's water resistant very water resistant right uh, in case there's a torrential downpour you know the clothing that's in here is protected well first by my rain poncho then by the nylon sack while it's not waterproof at all it does provide a little bit of splash protection then you have this uh, silicone nylon bag all right and in the bag we have some merino wool uh, gloves, liners, right, to keep warm. It can get uh, pretty cold still in the springtime here in Sweden, right? 
so some glove liners some generic work gloves right which um they're like i'm not even sure if it's like real leather or pleather or whatever but just synthetic work gloves um normally when i'm hiking hiking i'll wear these gloves and that's it but then at night in the morning then i'll have both uh sets of gloves and of course of course if it's raining then i can have uh, three sets of gloves i can have the merino liners then the work gloves and then the i have a pair of waterproof uh, rain mitts but i've rarely had to do that if it's raining i'll usually have just the glove liners and i'll, I'll put these away and the glove, glove liners and then the rain mitts so put that aside and a buff in black for quick drying merino wool buff um yeah i love this thing it's uh good for many things it keeps your neck warm but also you can pull it up over your cap I wear a baseball cap when I hike uh, to warm up my ears if it's windy or or if it's a bit cold in the morning too. I can have the buff, but yeah, gotta have a buff. All right, next up is uh, my Diddy bag. Now this has actually been a repurposed piece of gear. I got a couple of um, shoulder pouches uh, used online for my wife and I, and we both ended up uh, not really uh, like using shoulder pouches so much on occasion I'll, I'll use it um and then so this was sitting around collecting dust this is an uh, older z packs uh, shoulder pouch in the 1.0 uh, cuban fiber and uh i think at least you know what it may even be the um slightly heavier the one the 1 1.34 i believe cuban fiber uh don't quote me on that but anyway it's the thicker cuban it's several years old and it was sitting around collecting dust, and I thought, you know what? I bet you I could repurpose this into a nice ditty bag, because you notice it's a little longer. It's intended to carry, like, water bottles or granola bars, and there's a few kind of longer pieces of gear that I thought, you know, fit nicely in there. I'll get into that in a moment, but first on the outside, you see chapstick, uh, or lip balm, if you will, compass on a cord with a light and a whistle. Uh, I normally don't uh, wear that while hiking, but... If I'm going off trail, or if uh, it's uh, you know just a it's dark out or whatever, I will yeah I'll wear that. Uh, yeah, and I just got a new uh, new piece of um, cordage too for uh, my neck that's uh, bright and easy to spot too. Okay, now let's get into the inside here. All right, come on now. This is gonna be hard to do with one hand. I knew that going into all this. So I will just did I weigh it? Uh oh. Let me wait first. Sorry about that. Okay. So the ditty bag, and I just filled up all the contents too. You're going to see that there's some consumables in there. So 144 grams for everything here. But now let's get into the contents, right? First things first is some uh, tissues, right? Uh, 10 tissues in here. I supplement with natural materials. Um, for my hygienic needs. This is a contested, controversial uh, issue among hardcore backpackers. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's say I, I, to try and have the most mature like way to put this, uh, when I do my business, I will grab first a bit of moss or uh, leaves or grass, and then I will finish up with one, two pieces of the, of the, um, of the tissues, right? I know that makes some people uh, squeamish, but uh, doesn't bother me at all. In fact, the moss is plentiful here in Sweden, and it's also antiseptic. Google it, look it up. I'm not making that up. Um, there's uh, several different moss species that are uh, antiseptic and or and or antibacterial. All right, so tissues. A small little uh, towel, a synthetic towel. I've had this for years. And it's all I need. Even in the summertime, I find that this is all I need. When if I go swimming, I will simply, uh, you know, dry myself off, wring it out, dry myself off, wring it out, repeat, and it's fine. But I've even in the spring, in the summer, and the winter, I will still bring it because it's really nice after I wash my hands, especially when it's cold out, um, to dry my hands quickly, dry my face quickly. It's a nice, um, a little bit of luxury, and it also has other uses. If my tarp is wet from you know, rain or condensation or whatever, I can dry it off. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have a little towel. Let's see what else we got in here. Maybe now I can dump stuff out. 
There we go. Okay. And as I said, I just filled up um, these consumables in here. This is just my toothpaste tabs in a little teeny bottle. And if you look closely in there, it's got one of those small um, silico gel, like, you know, to absorb moisture in there, just to keep them fresh, right, and dry. Okay, so toothpaste tabs. Just filled up my alcohol gel, right, and this little bottle. These little bottles are great. They last a while. They're tough little bottles. I've had these for years and years now. But yeah, alcohol gel. And I take a slightly bigger bottle. I could get by on less, honestly, but I found, and I mentioned this in other videos, that other hikers and friends are not as hygienic as I'd like them to be. There have been several occasions where I've shared a trail shelter with a pretty grimy backpacker or two, and I notice they go off to take care of their business and do not wash their hands. That's when I'll take this, I'm like, hey, here you go, why don't you get some of this, right? Um, yeah, so alcohol gel is good to have. Also, as everybody knows who's done any kind of, you know, outdoorsy life stuff, you can use this as a, a fire starter to help you start your fire. I rarely, rarely ever have to do that, but there have been some occasions where I'm frustrated and cold and tired, and I want to have a small fire and maybe the firewood's a little wet, right? I rarely have fires, but when I do, yeah, every now and then. Okay. Biodegradable soap in this teeny little squeezy bottle. Just filled it up. This will last me like a week plus, this little bottle, believe it or not. Just a few drops of this, um, a little bit goes a long way. Uh, yeah, and this is the Sea to Summit Green Tea Scented Body Wash Biodegradable Soap. Uh, big fan of it. Good to have. Toothbrush, enough said. An ultralight um, staple and cut off the handle. Pro tip for those of you new to this, uh, you don't want to use like a pair of regular scissors. Get a pair of gardening shears and snip. It's much easier. And then I have just a little thing to yeah, protect the, uh, the head there. Okay, that's it. That's for the, um, the end of the Cuban ditty bag. Oh, by the way, another reason why I wanted to repurpose this as a ditty bag is it's got these nice little elastic hangy things, right? So uh, if and when I need to go and take care of some business in the woods, right, or uh, at a trail shelter, it's nice to hang up, to have just kind of hanging and handy and ready to go, right? And easy to grab when when it's inside of my satchel. I can just reach in and grab, you know, one of these loops and bring it up, right? So that is that, right? Last but not least, right, I've got two ditty bags. I know the super ultralight guys are cringing right now. Two ditty bags? What? But yes, this one weighs 50 grams, right? And it's just a Ziploc bag. And this, I find, will normally, on trips, sit at the bottom of my satchel and, yeah, not do much. Um, because it's got stuff that I don't really normally use, right? But the Ziploc bag itself is nice. I'm filming on my phone right now, my, my smartphone. If it's a torrential downpour, just, you know, to play it safe, you know, there's obviously, this is intentionally has room here where I can put the phone inside of here if it's like like you're really coming down again I really have to do that uh, but also my headlamp or anything else I want to keep dry in here maybe a granola bar like a half-eaten granola bar that I'm saving for for later that I'll like wrap up and put in here right uh, yeah but anyway here is to clean my glasses or my smartphone little cleany rag thing Batteries, of course, you want to keep batteries dry. I have a duct taped because it's one of those silica gel things. It was kind of, the Tyvek was kind of wearing out, so I just put a piece of duct tape to make it last longer. Some string, some, then I have some other odds and ends in here, like rubber band, a spare, um, mini carabiner, safety pin, a little bit of wire. Did I say string? Yeah, but yeah, nothing to it. Like I said, this normally sits at the bottom of my satchel and stays there, and I don't need it. Every now and then, I may need to make a repair. Uh, but yeah, you'll see in another video my repair kit and my first aid kit. But that's it for my ditty bag stuff in my satchel. Um, I will go back and forth between satchel and hip belt pouches. I have a couple of hip belt pouches, but at the moment, in fact, for like the past year or so, I've been way more into having the satchel. I just find it more easier, more convenient. So I'm going to stick to that. Uh, yeah, I uh, hope this was helpful. Maybe you learned a tip or two, or if not, maybe you enjoyed uh, nerding out to some ultralight backpacking uh, little accessories and such. But yeah, happy trails and take care.